Before the days of the internet, if you wanted to uh, learn anything about CB radio, you used to have to go to the likes of John Menzies or WH Smiths, uh, go in there and search through the magazines. There was plenty of CB radio magazines to choose from, and uh, we all had our own favourite one. So I'm going to do a little trawl through CB World from December 1980. It cost 60 pence for a magazine. Blimey, things were cheaper then. Um, so this was a uh, quite a popular magazine for the time. Um, this particular one has got a full colour centre page. Uh, ideas on noise suppression, CB and radio amateurs, so it covers both. Uh, gives you a bit on breakers language and uh, CB and aero modellers, so remote control planes etc. And there was also special t-shirt, cap and badge offers. So let's uh, venture in, see what it looks like. So obviously being the December one, it was quite near Christmas. Um, so here's an advert for various bits and pieces you could buy from the Big Ears shop at uh, 341 to 345 Roman Road, London. I should imagine that's long gone by now. So you could get a slide mount for £5.50 and a swar meter for £13.95. And that's not too bad because things haven't changed that much now. They're probably still about that price. Ascension Peak is seven quid. We can get all the three of those slide mount, swire meter and expansion speaker for £25, including post and packaging. Now, obviously this was pre-internet, so you couldn't email them. You either had to phone them up or send a letter. And if you wanted to order, you had to fill in this application form, cut it out of the magazine and send your order in by post. It's great. It was all called mailing lists. So this one, as I say, is a bit introduction here to the Eddington team. Um, they're saying this is our first issue. Most magazines start off by declaring their editorial policy. Readers obviously want to know what side we're on. Well, like many members of the public, they want CB legalised in the UK and other part of the world. Uh, they're saying the government must stop dragging its feet and do something possible, positive. However, we are not going to take sides in the 2741928 megahertz issue we just want cb and they can't put it because yeah they were talking about doing 27 megahertz 41 megahertz and 928 megahertz and uh, we ended up with our own out on a limb 27 megahertz fm cb system so here's an advert this one's for cb equipment specialists um selling antennas, microphones, oh, they're doing test equipment as well. Um, and then just miscellaneous plugs and bits and pieces. And here's the contents. Um, I won't run through the contents, we'll just trawl through and have a look. So right, there's a bit of a history on the Citizens Band. Ah, oh, the old Big Dummies Guide to CB Radio. There was two versions of that. There was the English version that came in and then the UK brought out its own UK version, uh, which are from memory, and I believe I've actually got that. Hang on. Uh, I can't see it, but it's got um, some trucks on the motorway going along on it. I'll have to find that. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Open Channel Telecommunications, Portsmouth. Um, specialists, wholesalers, and then they're listing companies and they got some blank boxes at the bottom here where they want more people to come in. Could you be here in a magazine? Because there's no internet. Oh, online dating. God, check out the bins on that woman there. She'd be a catch. Uh, how CB radio works. All you need to know in one easy lesson by Desk Pilot. Some great names here. All about carriers. <laughs> Very apt for me at the moment. 
uh, unmodulated carrier amplitude, single sideband, so yeah, all very good stuff there actually. Bare bones of an amplitude modulated transmitter, carrier oscillator to amplifier to modulator to power amplifier to aerial. So yeah, not a bad little article that actually. Um, Ah, oh, Truck King. That was another one. I used to buy loads of gear from Truck King. They used to have a really good mail order catalogue. Absolutely crammed full of goodies, that was. Um, you could have a sort of rake through that catalogue and just find whatever you want. Then you did your uh, order and you got your stuff. Unfortunately, they've gone bust now. Um, but they was up at Junction 6 on the M1 motorway. Uh, what's this? Tweety Bird TBI amazing microphone noise generator I've never heard of that um, so this one here is doing Jaws Mark 2 oh the little AM rigs I've got one of them somewhere and they, they sell really well and here they are 40 channel 4 to 10 watt output squelch external speaker and PA facility now they're selling an AM rig in a magazine advertising it but underneath they've put a disclaimer it is an offence under the wireless telegraph Acts of 1949 and 1967, which considering you know you was in the 1980s, so they're really relevant, to manufacture citizens band radio transceivers and such equipment is not licensable for use in the UK. But here's an advert and I'll flog you one. Ah, oh, CB slang. Now this takes us back. <laughs> Why use second hand American when we can have brand new English? And they're waving the old flags there also. Let's see what ones I remember. Breaker, yep. Anyone using a CB? Skip, yeah, that one. Copy, yep. Good buddy, yep. Eyeball, yep. Went on plenty of eyeballs. 20, yep. We still use what's your 20. Nine, would you repeat what you said? Well, it's not just nine, it's give us a nine. And people will know that everyone knows that one. Uh, Roger Dodge, yep. Um, 10 1, yeah, you set up his 10 1, meaning that. Uh, it's not working very well or you're giving a poor signal and 10-4 yeah and then people still say you're coming in wall to wall That's and uh, what's your rough 20 so yeah that's that's quite good oh there's some more 10-10 uh, yeah 10-10 till we do it again people still say that super slab yeah that's the motorway Busby home office official car they've died a death we don't have them now um, used to be British Telecom had the little Busby adverts and they used to be out there trying to hunt you down and bust you and fine you. Uh, wall to wall, yeah, very loud. Ears on, yeah. Means you're listening and got it turned on. Boots, burner, put some more coal on the fire, all words for an amplifier. Um, negatory, no. Pository, yes, I've never heard pository. Sounds a bit like suppository. Uh, yeah, going down, yeah, I'm going down, that means you're finishing. So yeah, some good ones there. Illicit CB on 27 megahertz. Two policemen holding some C's transmission equipment. Oh dear. Oh hang on, what's this? This is a letters page where people, because obviously you had no email or anything, you used to have to write a letter and mail it in. And then if they thought it was any good, they'd print it and put it in the magazine. And it's, that one's just caught my eye. Ridiculous UK. Here it goes. I wonder whether your UK readers realise how patently ridiculous your country appears to us. What? When we read of opposition to the introduction of Citizens Band Radio in the UK. Brackets mobile CB dangers January letters. So that's someone else who wrote in. We have millions of CB radios operating in North America in everything from baby carriages to giant trucks and airplanes and we hear from the UK that it is socially and technically undesirable from I Switzer of the Switcher Engineering Services Mr Selger I think that is Ontario Canada oh he he wasn't too happy oh hang on and then someone else has replied there's another Canadian on CB right I felt it necessary to write in an effort to assure wireless world readers that not all Canadians are cast in the same mould as Mr I Switzer, whose letter appeared under the heading Ridiculous UK in your May issue. Considering the rudeness of the opening paragraph, one tends to suspect that the writer is at least, to some extent, lacking in manners, ooh, harsh, and thus 
is hardly qualified to comment on what is socially desirable or acceptable. Mr Switzer implies that as there are millions of citizen band sets operating in North America, it must there be a good thing and the rest of the world must follow. The theory that high numbers make anything desirable and good is a very interesting one. In North America, we have millions of people with cancer, VD, <laughs> and all kinds of things that in my ignorance I thought were nasty. One problem with CB is the tendency of some people to prattle away with no thought to logic or common courtesy. But then sometimes we get the same thing in a much older form of communication. C. Henry, Port Clare, Quebec, Canada. Well, he didn't like Mr. Switzer, did he? <laughs> Brilliant. CB Rambos. Right, let's move on. So what have we got here? Artificial tests. Uh, when not in use. Oh, uh, Oh yeah, CB and model aircraft. In the good old days of AM, people who used to fly model aircraft used to run them on 27 megahertz. I don't know if they still do or not. If you keyed your AM CB radio near where they was flying, it, it was said, and I don't know how true this was, but the planes used to fall out of the sky because you basically block their control signal. Uh, whether or not that was the case, I don't know, but we used to laugh about that. Obviously it wasn't funny, but yeah. Uh, so just a bit of model aircraft. Guide to Broadcasting Stations, 18th edition. Well, that sounds a thrilling read. And you could send away, cut your coupon out and go and get it. And then you could sit there with a cup of tea and the Guide to Broadcasting Stations, 18th edition. I bet those long winter evenings just flew by if you was reading that. Uh, CB Independence. Oh, this is a record, CB Independence. So someone's obviously making a song. Uh, that's the lyrics for it. Um, oh, I thought that was a rear cover. John Wolfe Racing. Um, obviously, you used to have a, have a glamorous woman holding a CB microphone. She's obviously pulled the guts out of that microphone. And how long a mic leads that? Must be about 10 foot. Trucking and painting. Uh, trucks and their drivers and environment songs are written here yeah, so it's all about truck drivers in the states you don't see um many of these uh flat fronted uh, trucks in the states now i think they're cab overs all of our trucks are that shape we don't have ones with like a well you call it a hood in the states but like a bonnet on the front they're all this style but i think these are making a comeback a lot of people are finding them and doing them up now uh, traditional american truck driver should be carrying a flask Oh my God. Okay. Can you see yourself going out with a big t-shirt with CB World and a hat with CB World on these days? You just get beaten up. But obviously in those days, unfortunately, we did used to wear CB patches and things. Oh my God. Folks behind CB. A personal view of people in the CB news. Well, Patrick Wall, MP. You know... For our day-to-day -day use, some guy looking at like that, you know, it's a recipe for disaster if that guy is campaigning on your behalf for CB radio. That's probably why we ended up with what we did. A very down-to-earth man of the people. Uh, just a few more MPs. Oh, fault finding. Oh, this is handy for me. We have read through a copy of the Big Dummy's Guide to CB radio. Uh, taking some of his advice and here's a typical sample of advice on fault finding oh so they've nicked it out of the big dummies book ok well this is useful no dial lights no dial lights no receive set is dead what to do one is it plugged in yeah well that's pretty good check to see if the fuse is blown if it is replaced with another fuse of the same rating do not use aluminium foil but that's what aluminium foils for when you're replacing fuses. God, who wrote this? Um, can't receive, but cuts in and out. Dial lights blink. Uh, intermittent connection to power or battery. Check fuse holder. It's probably full of aluminium foil. No, that's just me adding that in. Um, what other ones they got here? Receiver just hums. Microphone not plugged in. Okay, what's number nine? Because it says, oh, 
I've got to find number nine. What's that say? Oh, smoke comes out of top of rig when turned on. Yeah, I know that one too well. And what to do? By all means, turn it off. Well, this is great. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, well, it's all good stuff. What's this one? Oh, yeah, this was if you had an AM rig. You could get what was called like hideaway antennas and you know when partially retracted the sterling camouflage antenna i love that a sterling camouflage antenna not a camouflage a sterling camouflage antenna brilliant how cb saved the day god i'm not even going to ask about that looks like you've got tact or something are they mad? What's the hell going on, said my wife. Are they mad or drunk? I'm not hanging round to find out. I shouted as I started the car and reversed. Finding the forward gear, I headed for the exit. And again, the other cars looked forward and blocked my path. Oh, I don't know what was going on there. CB and the amateur radio. Young enthusiast studying for his licence. Yeah. Take me hat off to people who can do Morse, but I'm not, you know, Morse code and that, but not for me, I'm afraid. Oh, QSL cards, we all remember those. I might do a video on QSL cards because it's a dying art and we, we need to resurrect that. Um, I like exchanging a good QSL card um, and I will get some done. Oh, rigs, rigs and rigs. So, top of the shop, we got the President Madison. Nice radio. President Adams, President AR7 and President AR144. I always wanted an Adams um, years ago. Um, they sounded a really good radio. Um, then we've got the AR711. Never heard of one of those. Uh, that's a 40 channel AM. Okay. And then a 59er 40 channel AM radio. Never heard of that. There's a picture of it sitting in the dash. And you know, the older 80s cars, you've actually had a room to fit a CB in now. Now. You're lucky if you can put your mobile phone in a pocket. There's just no room anywhere. And then the AR44, I'll remember those. Uh, noise suppression. Yeah. So you used to have to put um, capacitors and noise reductors on like your ignition wires and all things like that for noise suppression and your your alternator wine that you used to get. And now all the cars are done for that. So that's that's one advantage of the modern cars. You don't get any interference to your radio, which is good. Um, this and that well that's a good um, introduction right no swearing don't be rude be friendly keep it short CB in France uh, Mr CB oh John W Wolf Racing yeah speech process the South End Showdown what's that a new secret society has sprung up in South End Fans of CB Radio have got together to put pressure on the government, but until their hobby is made legal, members are not divulging their identities. So how can you join the group, the secret society, if you don't know who they are? How would you know how to contact a secret society who won't reveal their identity? Membership must be a bit limited. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right. What's this? The Hi-Fi Year book. And home entertainment, hi-fi yearbook and home entertainment. Read all about it. So again, another order form you can cut out with a pair of scissors, put it in an envelope and send off for the hi-fi yearbook for £3.50. And then while you're reading that radio one, you can sit and have that in reserve. Uh... Oh, this is all about fines when people have got caught using stuff. Guilty, fine £200. Guilty, fine £150. Guilty, fine £55. Um, guilty, sent to present. Sent to prison. Iranian student, Sir Hick Haberick, stay in Britain, couldn't... <laughs> Could soon be over. The 22-year-old CB radio enthusiast appeared before Brighton magistrates yesterday, but he quickly found himself behind bars for overstaying his leave in the country. Oh, so he was updating a CB and he shouldn't have been here. Whoops, and he got caught. Oh, my God. Uh, breaker 1-4 for a visual focus it back. Right. Cops and breakers tv game 23 shots put this tv video game on your christmas shopping list 
Oh my god. They've even did they even did a video game, Cops and Breakers TV game. I'm gonna have a look up for that later. Um I'm sure that must be out there somewhere. God knows what console that was on. Okay, the next issue will be out in eighty one, Club Corner. Uh what's this? It's a star of the Carl Shorten Club, run by Iced Diamond and Husband Triton. They now have over 500. The club has only been going just over one year. Mission fee is 25 pence. What? And disco is provided once a month. So if you was going to get busted, go to the Carl Shorten Club, leave your gear in your car and the police just come and get you. Oh, some good, good handles here. Bisto Kid from Newcastle. Honky Tonk from Oldham. Shining Moon from Crawley, Big Brother from Plymouth, Chipmunk from Caterham, and Triton for Derby. Oh, good stuff. What can you buy here? CB equipment. Electric aerials, manual retractable with splitter. Uh, latest books, the CB Handy Manual of Base Stations. Never heard of that one. CB Handy Manual SSB Complete. 1980 CB Dictionary and the Guide to CB radio see there's loads of books out there but you just never hear of them the london cb center at truckers paradise t-shirt specials chris release mount mini scarves i've actually got a mini scarf uh with a cb operator on it but uh oh yeah it is there well what other ones did they do citizens band cb explorer i'll have to see if i can get some more of those there's the books CB, oh, fire stick antennas, yes. Watch the new films, Smokey and the Bandit. God, it only just come out. Great film, that is. All of them. Convoy, Smokey and the Bandit, the works. Oh, Jackie Gleason as uh, Sheriff Buford T. Justice. Brilliant. Telex Turner. Telex microphones and headsets. I don't know those. CB Master. Yep, I remember those with the 2040 and 2080 CB radios they did. High gain, yep, high gain 5. K40 aerials, great aerials. That's Wint Joy Limited. 103 High Street, Shepparton, Middlesex. They're probably gone there. Send one pound for a comprehensive catalogue. So again, you couldn't go online and browse. But I didn't used to mind that, actually. I quite like having like a little arm here, CB catalogues, because you could just sit there with a couple of flick through, decide what you want, and send it off. OK, well, that's it for that one. Let me set up and we'll have a look at one more. OK, let's have a look at a copy of CB Radio, the British Breakers mag, from September 1980. 50 pence every month. And I, I remember this one. I used to get this one. Ah, look, the Turner Expander 500. K40 speech processor. I never got on with those because they, they used to have, believe, they used to have a live feed. But this guy, I remember him in lots of uh, CB adverts from Moorer Electronics. So the contents, the press conference at the Home Office, volunteers on channel, this one's here to stay, club spot, the official CB is 10 code, vultures on the side, choice of band, readers right, discussion, the low and you, comeback, the breaker, and the QSL club spot. Oh, we'll have a look at that. Once more unto the breach. Um, so yeah, just talking about CBs, press conferences. All the shot. New shop opening soon. Everything CB. CB City. They they went on for a while actually. Um, they had quite a bit of gear there. Tweety Bird electronic fun tones. Can be wired to any microphone. Uh, so you can get Tweety Bird, a Space Bird, a Diesel Horn, a Whale Siren. A sound organ with free tunes. See you never see any of these noise toys now. CB takes hold, and I had to ask myself, do wives and CB mix? <laughs> There's a question. Uh, there's Muir again. Uh, what's he flogging this time? Oh, just antennas, microphones, and swire meters. Club spot. The Bay City Breakers. I can only assume that's after the Bay City Rollers. Uh, oh, no, it's Northern Ireland. Oh, well, I thought it was Edinburgh or somewhere. Um, Elite Breakers. I don't know where that is. Oh, hang on. Uh, Lambeth. West Coast Breakers. Uh, oh, West Coast of Scotland. I've actually got some of these uh, cap emblems and badges. I'll have to do some bits on stuff like that and show you a bit of nostalgia. 
the official 10 code well we all know the 10 code but yeah 10 100 is not a restroom stop we know it's a slightly bit different one um, yeah 10 20 10 10 10 1 so you used to have to print these out and uh, keep them on the sun visor of your car when you was out and about and then there was a 13 code as well but I, I mean I know some of the 10 code but I never knew any of the 13 code that, that was a bit odd Uh, they're the big dummies, CB specialists, vultures on the side, unofficial burglars or car thieves. Yeah, a lot of people were nicking CB stuff. Uh, the Angel Hotel. Uh, choice of radio band are still going on about the difference the ones that we had. 27, 41 to 45. Big ears CB shop. Where's that? Leicester. Uh, Choice of radio frequencies again, so you know what we was getting on 965, radio pages, some taxi firms are operating on there. The Chelsea CB said, look, an old Triumph Stag, don't see many of them about now. Um, another one, who's this one, CB Specialist, oh we saw his advert in the other one. Committee for Legislation, a lot of these people were pushing themselves forward saying they knew best for us, but we still ended up with... 2781 fire stick antennas blimey I've got a seven foot red fire stick I used to run around with on the on the car I'll have to get that out again and get that going the fire stick's a good antenna actually and it's a genuine fire stick as well from the 80s readers right any more abuse uh, I found your mag hi there you guys I found your mag really interesting even though I am a mere woman my husband's terminology not mine Seriously, no, I must admit, I'm not really into all those technical CB stuff. I get lost past soir. My main reason for writing is to get a message across to all CB widows. There's a great term. If you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. Open channel communications. The document. Does anyone want 928? No, we didn't get that. We got 934. So they did do a CB band on 934 megahertz. Um, I never had a set. But it was a bit elitist because the equipment was so much. But you see a lot of it on eBay now. People do seem to be buying it. So whether there's still people up there operating, I don't know. 10-4 telecoms. We had a 10-4 shop in Maidstone in Kent. Um, and I forget what the other one was called. I think it was CB2781. was along the Sandin Road in Maidstone. So we had the 10-4. And you know, it was two CB shops. And as I was probably 14... I can remember going in the shops and obviously I was still at school so I didn't have loads of money in it and the gear and stuff they had in there I was just in awe. Teach yourself CB, uh, get your ears on, British Guide to CB Language, two ninety nine special introductory price. Yeah, CB and law, more CB shops, I mean they were everywhere. I think every town had one, and even things like Walworths and places like that. Rumbelows, do you remember them? Dixons, they were all flogging CB stuff. Ah, oh, CB cards. Um, you used to have all these different clubs you could join, and if you was a side bandy, you got onto these, and you was all over the place. The English International DX Club, Les Carroll, 225 Arnold Street, Bolden Colliery, Tyne and Weir. Formula One custom QSL cards, you could get them made. Let us know in adverts. More adverts, because this, you know, you couldn't you couldn't do it online, you had to advertise in these magazines, otherwise people just never saw your adverts. Oh, hang on, got a bit wrong. <laughs> Another one of those long microphone leads coming out the back of a Rolls Royce with a fire stick on the back. I don't think so, somehow. Um... Oh, Shakespeare, I've forgotten about them. Turner, oh yes. And that's it, so I hope you like my little trawl through uh, Cut the CB magazines. I've got loads of others and I'll do some more videos. I mean, if you'd like to see some more bits, let me know. And I'll post up some more because some of those titles, I'm not sure everyone will remember them. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And a little walk down memory lane.